Uh, my name is Sheila Borges Foley, and um, I grew up in Newark, New Jersey. My family's from New Jersey originally. Um, Portugal first. And son of a I'm sorry. How are you? Good. I um can I I'm like literally in the Hi, I'm Sheila and I live in Somerville. She's pregnant right now, so, you know what I mean, she loves the food. You know, we travel all the way from Dead of Mass just to come here today because of my pregnant girlfriend. We still do actually, we come here to do laundry right across the street and then while we're waiting, we decided to come here, have some breakfast, lunch, and um, I don't know, so we, like every week we're here now, sometimes twice a week, yeah, I know. <laughs> We have a lot of regular customers. We have a lot of people that we see and have seen from the 80s till now. And you watch this progression of, you know, people are dating and then they're married. They would come in with pregnant and now their kids are like 15. And then their kids come in with their friends and then it's just amazing, you know, really amazing to watch that and be a part of that. They're more like your friends at this point, you know? I work at the Neighborhood Restaurant and Bakery. I've worked here for about 16 years. They become yeah. regulars because it's like we learn to, like, I feel like it's adapt and to work with them. First time here, and they give you such a hard time, and then they realize you're just like a nice person. You're just so they're like, being. But they come in, some people just come in super aggressive. It builds character, though. Yeah. It builds so much character. Yeah. I feel like being a waitress is I feel like in the eyes of some people, it's frowned upon. They think that you couldn't do anything else. Or, but the fact of the matter is, I mean, it takes a lot out of you. There's more than just writing down what you want. You're not the only person here. There's 50 other people that told you verbally what you have to get them. I mean, I love it. It comes naturally to some people. Some people it's not for. This isn't like the bottom of the totem pole. This is what I chose to do. It's what works for me, as for it is for most, most waitresses. I liked my work in the camp. But when I came to the city, I was going to work in the hotels and I was going to see others work, to learn. My father cooked um, and always had a restaurant, even back in Jersey, after Portugal. Um, but I remember he would work 11 in the morning till 11 at night. And before he'd go, he would make me and him a cream of wheat, which is why we have cream of wheat here today, because we grew up on that. And he learned that um, from Portugal, but obviously. And he'd take the cinnamon and do a, what you girls would call a hashtag today. We call a, a tic-tac-toe sign. <laughs> and uh, we would eat our, our cream of wheat, and he would sing this little song about, um, let me see if I can remember. <laughs> Something to that. He, and it, you know what's funny is I'm getting all emotional because he wasn't feeling good the other day and he ended up in the hospital for a few days and he sang that song. So, but he's good now. He's 94. And, and he's the reason we're here. The biggest advantage I would say that we got as a family being here in Union Square is that my father owns the building. Because had he not owned the building, we would not, I can guarantee you, still been in this square. You see so many businesses come and go around here. It's insane. I mean, when I was a kid, 
people made fun of you from being from Somerville. And now it's like where everybody wants to be. Most people around me have gone, mm -hmm. you know, because they just can't afford it. Hi. We just did a brand new menu the other day, and the reason we got we got rid of a lot of things like, I think the sardines are gone, and um, the lobster is gone, and um, pork alanjana is gone, which is a pork and and potato and um, clams, which they're all staples of of Portuguese food. It was just on the menu, and no one was ordering. So what we do now is my nephew will do for lunch. He'll, he'll have a a pork alanjana special. You know what I mean? So that you can still get it. But we're also doing lasagnas and finger, uh, chicken fingers, stuff like, because the people around here have changed. And the people who, back in the 80s, don't live here anymore, who would eat things like that. How is it working with family? Okay. Did you see my nephew in the kitchen yelling at me about the fact that we're making our own jelly? People. Normal restaurants do not make their own jelly, okay? The neighborhood restaurant makes its own jelly, okay? It's an angry bird. No, not angry, angry but... Angry bird! No. It has its moments of wonderful... You know, you get to see each other every day, and you're in each other's lives, and your kids are in each other's lives, but there's the other side of it. But you're in each other's lives every no, day. Never, ever go to a restaurant. Really. Everybody knows everything about each other here. <laughs> it, it's got its good and its bad. We have very bad moments. Sometimes we fight like every other family, you know, but we're, um, we don't hold grudges. <laughs> Shell is like my family, you know. It's, her family is my family. I've been here forever. Oh, Do you want to okay. sit? Did you eat yet, Bobby? What's wrong? Are you hot? You cold? Yeah, I'm cut. Yeah, yeah. And that yes, camera. camera. Well, my brother opened the restaurant, um, and it, he worked really hard at it. That's back in the day when there was no customers. He worked day and night. He started it as um, cooking my grandmother's recipe for sweet bread. He tried to sell it, but that didn't work out. So instead of giving up, he um, started making eggs to go with the bread he wasn't selling. 87 is when he started to pick up. I didn't live here then. I was in Jersey. I, was, I grew up in Jersey. So my father was here. My brothers were here. You know, this whole building, that whole thing was going on back then. And he um, cooked. He cooked every day. And it was lined. There was lines back then. That I remember walking in and like, what's happening here? So by the time I came around, I left Jersey in 1990, I think it was, 91. And I've been working for him. I was working for him. I was waitressing. That was my thing. That's all I had to do. All I had to do was waitress and you know, at the end of the day, I was done, and it was awesome. But then he um, got sick and asked me, he handed me the keys, which he didn't have to say anything. When you hand somebody the keys, you know what's expected of you. And um, a girl, first of all, in Portuguese community, not happening. This is not, they all waited for me to fall. They all waited for me to close. I don't know that just Portuguese, but I know that that was a, the mindset. And um, with a lot of work and a lot of help, because a lot of people stuck by me, um, it's still here. And I promised him I would do this. I would give it back if he could, could be here, because I could just waitress. That would be cool. <laughs> but I like, I like this. Like I said, that guy. It's in our blood. This restaurant thing is in our blood, because it's my, my father, um, my nephew, my brothers. You know what I mean? It's kind of like what we do, and we like it. The oven? I'm not checking the oven. I'm gonna go check the oven. I'm going to For dinner. I was like, that's too much salad. It's too much salad. And that's also just like, I don't know, like, there's nothing wrong with eggs. No. Like, eggs all. are the best. Eggs are the best. I love eggs. I In love any it. form. In any form. Completely agree. Thrown against the walls, my favorite. <laughs> when I'm pissed off. But. <laughs>